Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, sweet. Yes, I can. Uh, I'm just going to find out. Yes, I think there's just like, there's not any music right now, is there? I think I hear it. I hear like a dog barking. <laughs> Thing on the fly. I'm sure people can help us in the chat. Okay, sweet. My, my my sweet gamer setup here with my on my couch with my microphone precariously balanced. <laughs> Yeah, we have a, we got like a gamer, like my wife and I have like a gamer set up, like a, a gamer computer, but like it's, there's just so many wires, man. Like being a gamer involves so many wires. I think they can hear us. Yeah, yeah. You sound that very far away. I, I mean, it could just be because I'm not very close to the microphone. <laughs> that could be why. <laughs> My gain is kind of low, too. Hmm. Oh. I can hear you. All right, they can barely hear me, but they can, what the fuck? Okay. Just instead of just snake's ass. <laughs> exactly, hi everybody. Hopefully you can hear me now while we're starting up the game. Whoa, big whoa. Can oh, well we can see you. Yeah. And can y'all hear Aisha? Aisha, do you wanna say something? Hello. Can you hear Aisha? Uh, there now. Hell yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Aisha's hella I'm audible. I'm hella audible. Thank you, Drake. <laughs> Good. That's what we like to see. Um, all right. I'm, I, Aisha, I was telling you this a minute ago, but I'm, re I'm really excited to jump into Metal Gear Solid again. The music started playing when I was just testing everything, and I felt it sucking me in. Yeah. It'll do it. I mean, yeah. I I mean, like, I've been in Metal Gear Hell since, like, November last year. I started playing it, um, I 
think in November, or watching Let's Plays. I watch Chip Cheesem's Let's Plays because I don't have a PS2. Mm -hmm. um, or PS1, I guess, is the first game, right? Yeah, PS1. That's what we're looking at. Yeah. And Konami makes it really hard to play their games. Uh, um, and I was working with people, um, and everybody kept making Metal Gear references, and I was like, I don't understand. But uh, I don't know if we're getting any sound from the game. Are, Are we? we? I'm not. Here, the sound from the game. Hmm. They're getting game sound that you want. Interesting. Oh, you know why? I, I think, no, no, no. I think I, I'll, 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 I can fix this. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. You can't, I think I might know why. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm not getting any sound. Okay. Might be because I'm doing a screen share with you and not. Well, no, that's not what that is. Um, After the SDB gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Thanks for bearing with us, everybody. Uh, while we. This is what two uh, writers trying to stream. <laughs> You know, I thought for a very long time I was going to go into computer programming because this is what my dad and uncle do. Uh, and since then, my ability to even identify a computer as a computer and not a box has actually It's just not. Alright gamers, why can't I hear anything? Help me. Beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. <laughs> I forgot about Decoy Octopus. I for, just the name, I mean. <laughs> the names are so good. There he is! There he is! Uh, there's the Revolver lad. Ocelot! There he is! <laughs> um, okay. Why can't I fucking hear anything? This is dog shit. I, I need to hear David Hayter! Yeah. <laughs> I don't... I, as usual, this is a one and infiltration mission. Hmm. Okay, I think Weapons we might need to uh, we might yeah, need to try this off this the top secret black Discord potentially. I should you okay. want do you want to try watching the actual stream? I hope it's not okay. hell. Sure. Okay. All right. Because also, yeah, running both was making my computer chug a little bit. Okay. How about this? I can actually probably talk to you. I can get on Discord on my phone, maybe? Oh. Um, hold on. That's a good idea. Okay. Talk, am talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> yourselves, really yep. quick. Uh, yeah, thank you for bearing with us. It's something that we're uh, testing out because uh, as Spooky Month approaches, uh, Aisha and I definitely have some ideas about a uh, spooky game that we want to play. Oh yeah, um, we're doing some spooky streams, so we're trying to test it out. Exactly. So Shadow Moses Island is uh, is dress rehearsal. Um, yeah. Although I'm I'm serious. Even just the music on this start screen is making me desperately need to go back. I actually like hearing my own voice. Excuse me. Okay. Um. <laughs> my wife like roasted me for it earlier. Hold on. Uh, let me just get off, and then I'll get back on the call. All right. Cool. Let's see who's in here. I see some familiar faces. Yeah, I'm pumped. Okay, for I'm back. There we go. All right. How's game audio for you now? Or are you still working on that solution? Um, can you guys hear me? I, my, it's probably way worse the audio, but the, yeah, the audio is <laughs> a little harsher. But I could probably, I could probably bring you down. A Try again. Uh, is that better? The nuclear and weapons one more time. disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island. And the last one, one more time. Was attacked Hi. And <laughs> there we go. Okay, I... I... okay, is that better? Yeah, that's better. Members of gotcha. Okay. Sounds yeah, it like might Kevin. be a little crazy. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we need we need Sophie. You say that if the demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. 
you'll have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue Dark Chief Donald Anderson. Okay, is that better? Yeah, it's a lot better. Okay. Both are being right. held as hostages. And in the meantime, everybody just gets to like really see the setup in the background. Yeah. Why does this voice actor sound like my dad? You're gonna be hearing a lot from him, Ren. Sorry. Oh boy. Ugh. What's the insertion method? Approach the disposal facility by I should just let me know I... when you've got game audio. Or, or the yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. We're good. You good? All right. Yeah. Let's dive in. Now, I don't mean to inspire too much confidence in everybody or anything, but while I was turning this on just to get the. Um, just to get the screenshot for the thumbnail, I did die in the first row. So we're gonna we're gonna see how far we get in here. Understandable. It's, like Kojima is so like even back then you could tell he wanted to make movies. Uh huh. Because he's like it's like opening credits. Like you don't see like video games don't do this. He's mm -hmm. just like. He's just been up his own ass for 20 years, and I respect him so much. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, what's really kind of interesting is, I remember a long time ago, a friend showed me a, um, like a Denzel Washington movie that where the music is written by the guy who wrote the music for MGS1. Um, and it's really surreal, because it's not like he's doing a different style for this game. That's just what dude writes. So when mm -hmm. you watch that movie, it does feel very weirdly like you're like you're watching a Metal Gear Solid movie even though they have nothing to do with them. Alright, we're gonna hear our sweet boy's voice in a sec. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just, Just as I expected. expected. You'll have to take, take the elevator to the surface. God, the but fucking make sure goggles! Nobody sees you. <laughs> if you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to I mean, I codec, actually really miss the them using button. drawings like this. We need to contact you. Me too. Yeah. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly. Yeah, in the second, in the second game, they. I think they do like models, and it's not as good. Okay, yep. I'm ready to go. Yeah, there's there's something about the art in these that's just that's really nice, and this is this is true of the whole series. But one thing that I love about these games, uh, controller. There we go. Whew. <laughs> um, one of the things that I love about these games in their like tutorial sections is that they don't bother with not just saying the video game stuff. Oh yeah, I mean, part part of Metal Gear Solid's like mythos is that the characters know they're in a game. Like, right. that's like like Homestuck. It, it's like home, Metal Gear feels very Homestuck to me, <laughs> and like this is partly because I write for Homestuck and therefore like think about it a lot. <laughs> but like, there is a certain like Homestuckness to especially Sons of Liberty. I think. Oh, yes. Or at the end, everything just, like, just devolves. <laughs> no, Snake, you need to get up and not get seen. I did. Hmm. Get up, bitch. We're gonna see get up, King. <laughs> I'm so used to an era when I was good at these games, and I might do things like hide from people. Um, <laughs> but we're probably going to end up doing a lot of strangulating in this particular run through. Oh, you know what? That's fine. Um, I have only played five. I, the rest I watched is as Let's Plays. Mm -hmm. This is Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Uh, I've only played the fifth one, and it's really different. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's like, way more, like, um, open world stealth. Yeah, definitely. So, like, I do, I've never played one of these games. So, I as, as often as I can get someone to play Metal Gear for me, I do it. <laughs> yeah, the, the controls are a little rough. They... It does so many cool things, and like, you know, you're talking about uh, Kojima a second ago, and like, there's just so much, there's just so much nonsense in the controls in these games that is there for you if you want to use it. But I think I've literally never used. Right. There we go. Well, That's I mean, the the games also 
like, the, especially the first game, like, I feel like that the story, like, Snake being led around by the nose, like, by this, like, conspiracy where nothing, like, we're, like, it's impossible to figure out what's going on because it's all just, like, he's just being tricked. Yep. Is very, like, it fits with the gameplay and the level design because, like, you are also being led around by the level design. I don't Definitely. know. Like, I feel like the, it fits the stealth genre. I think way too much about Metal Gear Solid, guys. <laughs> No, but I get it. I mean, like, you know, even even in these, one of the things that I really like about the way the plots are put together in these games is that you do often get railroaded, but when you do, it becomes significant to the plot that you did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. And I mean, like, I don't know, like, every, anyone who is in the is in the chat and has not played these games, I really recommend at, at least playing or watching a let's play because like everyone should play these games <laughs> <laughs> they are they are out of their minds in the absolute best way yeah they're totally deranged also they're very gay if that uh is something you're interested in <laughs> if that's gonna swing yeah that yeah no you were telling me that peace walker especially Yes, Peace Walker is the gayest. That's <laughs> the gayest the, one. That's like the one I didn't play besides like Metal Gear Acid. <laughs> Peace Walker is the best one. All right. Okay. All right. You got me. Yeah. Peace Walker is, you know, it's where you where you used to see Master Miller at his uh at, at his best. <laughs> For early MGS games, is there any way you can play without emulating it? I think, I mean, they keep on re-releasing them for new Sony consoles, I think. But I don't know if you there's can get an PS4. HD. I think there's an HD uh, version of for the PS3. Oh, right. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. He's 32. <laughs> Oh, did it say age hasn't slowed you down one bit? Because the first time yeah. I the first time I played this, when I died in the first room, the colonel did make fun of me for a few lines instead. Oh, really? Yeah, he called me rusty. Oh boy, Naomi. I know. I love her. I, the the set of characters you have over your codec in the first game, I think, is my favorite through the entire series. Yeah, me too. I mean, in retrospect, everybody in three is really good too. Right. Knowing what happens to all of them. <laughs> yes, that's really that. That is very true. Oh, who is? What was the name? Was it paramedic? Is that one of the people you talked to? Paramedic. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> and she talks to you about contemporary movies that are all yeah, and King Kong. Right, but Big Boss is such a fucking moron. He's never seen a movie in his life. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. She's like, um, Snake, have you ever seen uh this normal movie that normal people would have seen? And he's like, uh no. <laughs> he's like, what? Pictures can move? <laughs> <laughs> a magic lantern show. <laughs> there are only eighteen hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you to yet. This, this is Maylene. She was assigned I love the voice performance in this game. Yeah. Me too. She designed your code. It's hard for me not to get sucked in. Yeah. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. Uh, it's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? I love her. <laughs> I know. Did, did Maylene ever pop up again? Yeah, in so four. In four. Right. <laughs> You're just slathering me. No, I'm yeah, it's weird. I actually I got into no, this to kind of like date when I played these games. I got into this whole series in order to be able to play four when it came out. And I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. Sorry. No, it's good. Classic, classic line. But yeah, I don't remember four. Uh, four is um four ha oh boy, four is an is like a train wreck, but it is the only one that made me cry. 
Uh, <laughs> yep, no, that's true. We, we talked about that. The end of the end of four ruined me too. Yeah, uh, Snake had a hard life. I just like almost started sobbing. <laughs> but this is it's so weird to think about like the first time because I I did I live tweeted my whole experience playing this game. So I like went back and read it and I was so like just completely bewildered by Snake's like the way he acts with women and it's very 90s but also like now that i know him and i like know what he's been through i'm like honey you you hit on anybody you need to please please just anything that makes to make you feel human you won't be able to use it god no, I mean he's he's super lovable. I actually remember after I beat after I beat this game, and I was looking up Metal Gear Solid two and three. I got upset then that you don't play a snake in those games, uh, even though I'd only spent one game with him. But like I already missed him a lot. Well, Kojima completely catfished everybody. Like all of the all of the promotional material for MGS two was Snake, and Raiden was not in any of it. Right, it was all the like the first sequence where you do play a snake, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember. Yep. I remember my, when that came out, my uncle had that demo, which I think was just the tanker stuff. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I was too. I was like, where's Snake? What the fuck? Who is this twink? I don't care. How did you do that? God, he, he Thanks, grows on you though. Right in? Oh yeah. yeah, he's the only heterosexual in all of Salt in all of Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> you know you're right. <laughs> and like, I think one of the things I really like about that observation is in the same way that in like a lot of you want to bad it, attempts at like door. LGBT representation, their it's entire the character is being gay. A large amount of Raiden's character is being straight. I can't just knock on the door and yeah. let me in. It's like, like I mean, his, like, he's the only one, I think, who has, like, an on, oh, well, I guess Snake kind of has an on, several on-screen romances in this game, <laughs> but, um. Right, the fact that the endings to this game are kind of the equivalent of, like, a dating sim, where you decide who you're yeah. gonna end up with. Yeah, there's the Meryl ending and the Otacon ending. There should also be a duck on the second floor. Only one option in my heart. Yeah, I mean, same. It sucks that you have to let Meryl die to get the Otacon ending, but... <laughs> God, I just... I you just... know what? That's, that's the gay agenda for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, let's do this. It's time to do our sneakins. Um, the first room I looked fairly impressive in because I'd already done it and died in it. This is This where... sucks shit. This sucks. Yeah, I remember this not being good. All right, you can Don't go into the light. <laughs> Snake, don't go into the light. Snake, don't go into the light. That light is definitely poking through that wall. Yeah, it is. Okay. Also, watch out for the snow. You leave footprints. Oh my god, you're right. I forgot all this Whose stuff. footprints are these? <laughs> I remember there's stuff around here that I should probably be looking for. And on the radar, the yellow is security camera. Security right. cameras, yeah. Okay. I think you have like a blocker, but I don't know how you if you have it yet. At one point, you can like block the signal. All right, L ones use items. This is this this is the level we're at. Uh, R two is fine. All right, okay, all right, all right. God, you should have seen me trying to play MGS five. Like, <laughs> luckily it was only for my what? friends at first. Like, we would I would stream it for my friends, and they would just like roast me for playing like an an old auntie. Like, I was so fucking bad at it. <laughs> Oh man, MGS5, I, I like, I remember feeling very cool while I played that game. And it is really cool. I, I love, I love running around with my dog. <laughs> yes. Doesn't the dog have an eye patch too? The dog has an eye patch and a knife. Oh, fantastic. It rules. All right. I love Dee Dee. Okay, I think I remember this. If we go underneath. He I can't think. Hurt me. Okay. Oh, that's a man. Yeah. Oh, there That's is. a man. That is a man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What? Oh no, that's a man! Oh, <laughs> no, no. That's a lot of men! And they, their bullets hurt much more than the first room. Oh no, Snake! Snake! 
Mike! We're gonna see a bit of that until I get my uh, my sea legs back. Oh, does this not have snake, snake, snake yet? Is that not until the second one? Um. Oh no! It it, it happens later in, and I was and I was okay. mashing I was mashing circle I think so. I will when we inevitably die in thirty seconds. <laughs> remember how to punch? Don't remember how to prevent that from happening, but I remember how to grab you and throw you, and now you're unconscious, <laughs> and I'm gonna go hide over here. I've seen very little combat in this game because the guy who does the let's play does so much seeking and he's so good at it. Oh, the so combat I'm, is... I'm excited. The combat's it's goofy as hell. There we go. No, yeah, I mean, this is an action game where the controls feel like a like tank control Resident Evil. Yeah. I mean, it's a stealth game, Kevin. <laughs> You're supposed <laughs> to hide. <laughs> it's tactical espionage action, Kevin. Yeah, listen. Uh, he just crumples. Huge F for Snake. F in the. Can I get an F in the chat for uh, my <laughs> man's? All right. Is there a button that lets you walk slower? That's first person. <laughs> Won't help me. I spent. So, <laughs> There's a slow button. <laughs> I spent so long trying to get the tech for this to work that I didn't get the chance to get the. The game part. You gotta get good. You gotta get good. That event, everything is so indistinct. Okay. Yeah, well. <laughs> Welcome to the PlayStation. We could have played Twin Snakes, but yeah, no, we couldn't. I have never played Twin Snakes, actually. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I've only seen the cutscene where Snake does a backflip over a rocket launcher. I mean, the, the cutscenes are very funny. Uh... There's like a there's like a a joke like fan theory that um please don't come down. Oh, here. wow. Fuck this guy. That Twin Snakes is Otacon's retelling of Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh-huh. He's like, "Oh, and then Snake was so cool. He did a kickflip." Like <laughs> stuff like that. We're gonna I feel good about that one too. <laughs> it didn't work out. Okay. All Bye right. guys. Bye. <laughs> Damn it! Rough. <laughs> Rough. Okay. Huge F. Yep. All I'm, right, guys, we're gonna do it this time. We're gonna do it this time, and if we don't, I might actually go back and turn the game on easy mode and just power through all of the conversations because we'd get here in about twenty seconds. Yeah. No shame. No shame in that. Whose footprints are these? Oh Jesus. All my footprints. You got a lot of F's in the chat. There we go. Oh, plenty of F's. Surveillance camera. A surveillance camera. All right. A surveillance camera. <laughs> uh, David Hayter has such a good voice that in that one exclusive voice. Yeah, he's wonderful. He also is like always fighting. He like fights um, MAGA people on Twitter. Oh, good for him. All right, no, but we made it in, so it counts. We're not going for the European S extreme S rank or whatever it is. Yeah, people like like he'll fight. He'll find people on Twitter who are like, Snake Snake would like Donald Trump, and he's like, Snake does is not a conservative. <laughs> <laughs> he just like does he like fights MAGA people? Hey, right. This is the it's been a long I'm like time. go off, King. What are you doing? I absolutely. I love Master Miller, and also I know from you that I haven't even seen the game where he submitted. Snake doesn't even know that he's his dad's ex. Right. I really like Master Miller's voice actor too, although he hasn't been in much stuff lately. But like he was everywhere in like 90s and early 2000s cartoons. Robin Atkin Downs? He's really good. He does the best line read in all of Metal Gear. He does the, <laughs> they played us like a damn fiddle! <laughs> God, Metal Gear is just nonstop scenery chewing. Yep. 
M no, causing causing big boss for in love. It doesn't make like. I can I continue to insist that MGS five does not make sense unless you think of it as a love triangle. Like that's the only way it makes sense. <laughs> what about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. Thanks for telling me about the vent covers after I got in them, bud. Yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eyes on the basement. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell. Le like legitimately, I catch myself in early drafts really? of scripts all the time, no, all, all the time, just doing what every character does in this game, yeah. where they just repeat a significant so detail that somebody stealth. already said. Uh, <laughs> key card. Anyway, key <laughs> I think it's. I think it's like a lot of it is lazy uh, localization because probably what he's saying in a lot of it is like soka or something like that or uh -huh. like is that right like in Japanese so they just have him repeat it in English because we don't really say that in we don't right. really do that in English yeah right I mean I also like uh, like most things with this game and we we talked about how I don't remember very much of it because I haven't played through these games since like I was into high school early college early undergrad um, but like even the most ridiculous shit about these games I just I adore I genuinely love stylistically that Snake is yeah. always repeating what everybody says in a slightly deeper voice yeah the best part is that he has 180 IQ <laughs> you know <laughs> he's a genius thanks for telling me about the action button Colonel yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, bro. Yeah, Snake, who has 180 IQ. Right. He and Liquid are both geniuses. Right. Ah, oh, Colonel, you're being real needy, bud. Elevator to change floors. Yeah, he loves you. There should be a car <laughs> elevator that you can take down somewhere else. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks, bro. Snake, do you ever just think about me? I'm, yeah. I like when the colonel steals Raiden's girl in MGS4. Oh my god. He cucks Raiden. Have you ever, did you ever, uh, did you ever watch um, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance? No, but I need to. Like, um, Griever, my friend Griever wants me to very badly. He played a little bit of it for me. I need to. Though I have friends who are like, no, don't. <laughs> it's terrible. It's just, I mean it's it's exclusively the goofy comic book stuff in yeah. Metal Gear. Um, like the the plot doesn't hang together, the cast is just silly, but the by the time you get to like the last boss fight, it's like these people understood one very specific part of what makes this series work, and boy did they go whole hog on it. Yeah, I mean, I really like. Um... I like uh, Raiden's like high heels and shit like that. Like I like that look. It's good. Yeah, the designs um, are good. All right. Yeah, MGS4 just like there's like a bunch of plot points in it that just don't make any sense. There's certain things people do that I'm like this. I yeah. guess. All right. Sure. Uh, let me in. Thank you. Bye-bye. Please close the door. I like your play style. <laughs> it's just like, fuck you. <laughs> um, you're knocked out. I need you to be dead. That'll do it. Sorry, bud. Did you just kill him? Yeah, I just broke his neck. Damn. Oh, oh, they disappear. That's useful. Okay, now uh, there's... I swear that's the button I'm supposed doing? to press. There we go. All right. No. There we go. <laughs> <sighs> it's venom. <in> it. Um, <laughs> do you remember where the colonel told us to go? Because I've been so stressed out about the controls. That was second floor attention. basement. Yes. Or no. No, it is or second. First... It is second floor basement. We were just making fun of him for it. Second floor basement. So there is a real value in Snake repeating it, for mm -hmm. uh, for a dumbass like me. I thought he was gonna turn back around. What the fuck? Did that guy just 
saw you around the corner. He saw me around the corner, yeah. That guy saw you around the corner. No, <laughs> these, these games are amazing, but like, I, with this game, I, I can almost forgive it more because it's PS1. Um, yeah. I like, I think I have a very unpopular opinion that I don't like Metal Gear Solid 2 very much, and not because of the, the story. I love the story. It is just because I find playing it to be such a miserable experience. Yeah. Gonna turn around and look at me? That's what I thought. Ah, you're... Oh. That was Bye, the baby. trap door. Uh, all of these are... Oh, locked. yeah, the trap doors. Uh, God, the top-down style. Wow. Yep. It's been a minute. All right. Got my SOCOM. Can I hide in there? No, I can't. <laughs> I know there's like you can hide in like bathroom stalls with like pinup girls like right. on them. I need you to get out of the way of that door, my friend. No, he I'm just gonna, yeah, I'll, be, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get another beer. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Oh, buddy. <laughs> We're gonna see if we make it through this one. Uh, and if we don't, nobody gets to tell Aisha that I died yet again. Ooh. Are, you, are you dead yet, bud? I need, I need you to hit the ground and not get back up. Oh, please, sir. There we go. Wow, did he just like did he just, like, alert while you were breaking his neck? Uh, yeah, well, I kept on throwing him, and I forgot that in this game, throwing and punching people doesn't kill them, so I did, I beat the man up for a very long time <laughs> before I finally broke his neck. God. <laughs> Cruel. Yeah, it was, a, it was a little mean. Um, well, that's, that lad is moving fast. Okay, actually, maybe we're supposed to go down to the second floor basement. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's after we get something. Yeah, maybe it's the first floor basement? Because all these doors appear to be locked. Where the fuck are we going? <laughs> we need a key card. I know there's a key card involved. Right. Ding. Alright. This floor will surely <laughs> be nicer this, to this me. This is surely the floor <laughs> for us. Uh. Look at the radar. It's oh yeah, rations. There's like. Hmm. All right. Yeah, Mei Ling seems confident. Oh, the DARPA chief. <laughs> God, what a handsome man with his with his like polygon body and I, oh his <laughs> his eyes that look like mouths. Yeah, they're uh. God, they do. Oh, when they even bother to render them. Yeah. Snake, if you want to go up or down a ladder, what a beautiful just man. Press the action button by the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> the colonel knows the year of more. <laughs> right. He's like, I don't know what to do with this guy. Right. Snake, just press select. What? Huh? In the second game, it's Otacon giving you all your, like... Like, I was, like, honestly flabbergasted yeah, when I started the second game and was like, I can't believe that they're just, like, Antifa together now. <laughs> right. No, that's true. They are, like, all by themselves. Yeah, they're, like, they're in love. down there. Where's Meryl? Uh, I think I went down the wrong way. Mm. Man, it turns out so the insides of, yeah, it turns out the insides of vents all kind of look the same, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of vent crawling in this game. Holy shit. Yeah, there's, there's very few vents in the fifth game. The fifth game's, like, 
whole like not the fifth game um suffered a lot from not having codex. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Also, I did not know this like in the first time I played it, but apparently Meryl is 18. <laughs> what? I did, yeah, she's 18. <laughs> oh my god, that's yeah, that's a heinous. Like snake. Oh. Yeah, snake, snake like 32. No. I don't know. Ugh. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not even gonna defend him right now. But like, the just the level of like trauma and probably stunted. Oh, yeah. Probably stunted development you. that snake has. Who knows what age he is mentally. Right. There's the dark chief. There he is. Uh -huh. Oh, this Lego man hands. I love this man. What's your outfit? It's true. You don't look like one of them. Oh, they credit all the voice actors when they show up too. I love that. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? He's like eight pack on his like outfit. They say if they don't exist. Yeah, no, you're right. You can see it very clearly through his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> which which that is that is the worst fitted shirt I've ever seen. It's so it's loose awful. around his arms, but you can see his entire eight pack. I thought this place was just for keeping the mental warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. I feel like if they were gonna remake Metal Gear Solid One okay. and like try to do justice to the original way it looked, it would all be stop motion with GI Joes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they, I mean, like, they don't need to remake it. But if they remake it with the Fox engine, like, I'll play it for just like purely shallow reasons. <laughs> right. <laughs> Metal Gear. Yeah, the eyes, right? Yep. You knew Metal uh, Gear? <laughs> yeah, that was the first time we got it. Metal Gear. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this Yeah, because there's like a whole... Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Say again? No, you... No. I was going to say, there's like two whole games before this game. Mm -hmm. Metal Gear Project yeah, Metal Gears. Like other games. Like about the first Metal Gear. It's the first time he encounters Metal Gear. So this is even a sequel. Right. I, I, I wanted to ask you, have you seen or played either of the original Metal Gears? I haven't. I want to, though. I, I wish that they would remake at least Metal Gear 2, because, like, I know that he kills Big Boss, like, in each of them, and in the second one, he comes back with, like, an android arm. Hence, uh, well, you haven't even seen the true ending of Metal Gear 5, so... I guess not. <laughs> Well, no, you haven't. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, I, I haven't you played... I, yeah, it really sounds like I should. I... Because I even re like I would have I would have said I played that game recently, but then like I tracked it back and when did that game come out? Because I played it that many years ago. 2016, baby. Oh my god, I played it four years ago. Yeah. Oi, oi. Yeah, the Fox engine they they designed literally for Metal Gear Five, and they've only ever used crimes because we suck shit. Right. You mean God, I mean, it, yes, and course, you, you look at it, and you look at what uh, Metal Gear Solid Five turned into, and it makes perfect sense that that game took the untold number of years it took yes. to make. It's a beautiful game, and it's very unfinished, but I really like it. Mm -hmm. I, I like it a lot better than a lot of people do. That's right. Oh, his, his public opinion on it kind of shifted, because when, when it came out, people were in love with it. I think that it just feels kind of unfinished, which it does. Like, you you can tell that there's a lot of stuff that they wanted to make. Like, there's even, like, there's, like, the briefing tapes that, um, you, like, there's even, like, Foley work in them, so you can tell that they wanted to make them into cutscenes, but they didn't have the time. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know that there was like a lot of development problems, but um, I don't know anything about development. Uh, I've never, I've never worked on a game that's taken three years longer than it was supposed to. Um, uh, I just want jokes. Uh, 
Uh, Gumma Master says the that uh, they believe they used the Fox they engine for one of their pachinko machines, <laughs> which suck my dick. I'd, I'd buy. I really would. Like a couple of years ago at this point, I was in yes. Japan over the summer and I went into an arcade and I saw a Silent Hill thing and I got so excited. And I walked over and it was a slot machine. <laughs> yep, yep. I mean, that's what Konami's been doing. They've just been doing pachinko. And they started making, they like passed a bunch of like more restrictive laws about pachinko in Japan, which is why Konami's making games again. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to the thing everyone wanted us no to do. Might be keeping the yeah. Order. Give in. Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement. This guy's having a bad day. Yeah. Second floor basement. We got it again. There we go. There it is. Can we there get a uh, Can we get a second floor yes. basement counter, please? Yeah. Right. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here. Take, Take this. this. It's, it's my, my ID, ID card. card. It'll, It'll open any level one security door. door. It's called a pad card. It, it works together with your body's <laughs> own electrical pad. Personal area network, network, huh? That it transmits <laughs> data using the salts of your body so as a transmission. I do it. This violates so many rules about only relevant ex or relevant exposition only, and also I'm completely captivated by it. Gotcha. Please tell me oh, about yeah. the salts in my body. <laughs> I, okay. I saw a post that was Wait, like, Metal Gear Solid's dialogue is like you the dialogue from the beginning of a porno guy. before they get to the <laughs> fucking, except it's all that. The whole way through, you're kind of right. I just yeah. said no. So does the lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> That's their problem. It has nothing to do yeah, with and, my Yeah, uh, and these two men are very what close to each other right now. Pentagon? I mean, like, Metal Gear is, is just all men being close to each other. <laughs> like... Hey. Like, there literally is a... a... oh, there he goes. Mm -hmm. Help. <laughs> okay, bye, bud. Bye. Thanks, Snake. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi, the chief. What a king! I, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack. No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. Uh, did you use your heart attack machine? <laughs> This you series is just the story of people asking the colonel, are you hiding something from me? And him saying no unconvincing. No. <laughs> Military hide something? Right. <laughs> and people keep falling for it, even though he does it like once a game that he appears in. Yeah. All right. Well, there's the DARPA chief. Hmm. Dead. <laughs> Yeah, okay, there's a fight outside. And I'm supposed to wait for them to let me out? Ugh, out. Okay. Well, yeah, if we... If you wanted to, we could maybe co-op Peace Walker. But... Because right. it's a multiplayer game. It is. Yes, I think that would be a very good way to get me through Peace Walker. Yeah. It's, uh... I love, like, I think it's the best game, story-wise and, like, art-wise, but, um, oh, they're... <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot about Johnny! <laughs> for, for those of you that have not seen uh, Metal Gear Solid before, uh, the, that that fellow who was knocked out and completely naked literally becomes a recurring character. Yeah, he is a main character of the fourth game. <laughs> right? Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? And it seems like it started just because... Like, Kojima really liked the Did running gag running? of let's dunk yeah. on this man I'm over and running. over and over. Right, there's that there's a man who has like IBS. <laughs> that's like his per that's like his personality. <laughs> right. You talk too much. You have to take a oh, right. You have I shot a person. <laughs> You're not one of them, are you? 
I'm realizing as we're watching this that a Open lot the of like the the flirting while you? fighting Why? that so I write into Penumbra you? is probably like coming straight out of Metal Gear Solid. What are you doing? Yeah. I think it's a one of I think it's Snake's defense mechanism, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and when Careful. you have the ration equipped, you use it automatically. Shoot. Okay. Don't I'm talk to me like a rookie. I'm, I'm telling you, shoot! shoot. Ah! <laughs> there you go, Meryl. There you go. <laughs> you did it. God, the first time I saw the scene, I was like, did nobody notice that naked man in the... <laughs> <laughs> I am remembering how to shoot, and it's not just mash square. It turns out. Do you have to reload, or does it reload automatically? Uh, I don't think you can hold bullets above your clip. Okay. Oop. Let's get the ration on for when they take me out. Oh, you do have to reload. Never mind. You just did it. It looks like you did it automatically. Yeah, you do it automatically in five, but it takes a little bit. Those are annoying. Good. Don't worry. Whoa, everybody. okay. Yeah, don't worry, everybody. They weren't out you grenades. We're good. Alright. Bye, guys. It's very convenient that these men vanish when you kill them. I know. And I think for that reason alone, when, Where like, managing where- <laughs> Who are Bye. You? <laughs> oh god, my god. her fucking run, her ass. <laughs> the number of highly polygonal butt shots that this game yeah. exists on. <laughs> he, like, looks, he's like, who are you? <laughs> who is, whose ass is that? Right. I know I'm on a job, but- <sighs> God, there he is. Ah, oh, Psycho Mantis. I love baby Psycho Mantis and MGS5. He's so cute. Oh, right. And Baby Liquid is in it, too. Yes, I remember Baby Liquid. I got I got that far. And I, Baby Psycho Mantis is earlier than that, I think. Yeah. When, when they're, like, telling you, they're like, there's a kid who runs a, a group of, of children soldiers in this like African village. His name is White Mamba. And I was like, Kojima, knowing Kojima, he's going to be a white kid. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how Kojima is. Right. And he already had a snake name. Naomi. Yeah. I I was, and then I, as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh God, I, can, I know who that is. <laughs> I saw the mullet and I knew. What was it? It, it must, must have been, been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis. Psycho oh, right, the nano machines. I forgot about his nano machines. Oh, uh, nano machines. So that was Mantis. Yeah, for the first couple of games, it's all nano machines. Mm hmm. All right. I don't think Big Boss has any nano machines. I think he's just, like, ripped. <laughs> no, I mean, I think, I think, I think you're, I mean, it is really funny because even in. Metal Gear Solid 3, like, they wanted to keep the, uh, the, the stakes rising, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. but, like, we're decades in the past, which means that we still get, like, the crazy superhero nonsense, but none of the justification for the crazy superhero nonsense. I mean, there's a lot, there were a lot of, like, secret government, like, I always, I was, I'm like, the big boss games are if, it, if like, the Cold War MK Ultra bullshit was all real. Yep. Like, the stuff that, that we, that they were trying to do, if it all worked. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of, like, uh, you know, secret Soviet experiments and shit. Right, you have to have the key card equipped. Okay. I'll come back to me. Can we get in any of these doors? And it looks like now that I've killed everybody down here, they're just dead, so that's yeah. good news. Yeah, that rules. Take those. Anything back here? 
Nope. Oh yeah, how did the live show go? It was good? Yeah, the live show went really well. Um, it was uh, obviously the first time we did like a, a live show over Zoom. Um, and uh, and it, it was awesome. Uh, it, it was awesome just like seeing people's reactions. We had, a, we had a Discord chat going for everybody who got a ticket. Um, and it was pretty wild how much it kind of mimicked the actual experience of going to a theater and seeing everybody excited. Yeah, I, I was at the live show last year, like in person. In person, really? Yeah, I, I just, I, I didn't, I don't think I knew you yet. Yeah, I knew I, Matthew. I, I, I was friends with Matthew by then, mm -hmm. but he's, his feet were broken. <laughs> yes, his feet were very he broken. Was, <laughs> yeah, geez, that was wild. Did he ever tell you the story of how that happened? Because didn't, didn't he break one and then he like broke another doing like stage fighting? <laughs> Yeah, no, he broke one in a stage fighting workshop. Uh, so I think it was in the stage fighting workshop that he broke it. And then, because he still wanted to do the workshop, because this is what Matthew Zanzinger what is like. Matthew's like, yeah. Yeah, he kept do he just kept on doing it with one broken foot. Oop. All right, he kept on doing it with one broken foot, and, like, he had his other foot, or no, he had his broken foot propped up on, like, a wheelie chair, like an office chair. Yeah. I... Uh, and then he like broke his other foot with a different kind of weapon. Than god damn it! <laughs> oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! That's a super Sir Damien thing to do, by the way. <laughs> Just it's insist like, on continuing. Isn't the isn't <gasps> doesn't Sir Damien's first like um like the first time he shows up he has a broken leg? Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, because the first episode that he's referenced in, um, Sir Caroline gets the job instead of him because she pushes him down the stairs in the Hall of 1000 Stairs. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I made friends with Matthew because I tweeted at him and I said that I really like him as Sir Damien, his uh, soliloquy about uh, a lizard maybe walking to a tree, which is literally true. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I walked into a tree. Oh my god, while really? listening to it. Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah, I was like so overcome. <laughs> <laughs> god, yeah. No, it, it was it was so funny because like Matthew played Ramses in the uh, in the Juno series too. Yeah. Uh, and so we we had found him around that time, um, and then suddenly he was major in both of these stories. This is not what I mean to do, but thanks for cooperating, bud. God, they don't stay passed out for very long, do they? No, they don't stay passed out. You also can't move them when they're down in this game. Um, that sucks. And you can't do anything to them when they're down, I don't think. So, like, that's why I keep waiting for them to get up and then trying to time the grab. Yeah, that sucks. This game's mean. Yeah. Oh, not what I meant to do. Okay. Mm. I do think this is where we're supposed to be, though. So we we raided the, yeah. the bottom area. Yes, we are. I think. Um. Potential then. Yeah, I have a actually I have a podcast that uh, an audio drama coming out pretty soon. That, oh, uh, sick! Tell me about it. Yeah. Um, it's called the Second Star to the Left. Um, and it's about a, like, a planetary scout who's, like, scouting a planet <laughs> for, like, like, it, she's, like, an advanced, like, scout before colonists come to the planet. Mm -hmm. And the only human contact she's going to have for five uh, years is her scout minder, a person named Belle, who is in, like, a, in a space station that's, like, orbiting the... And it's like the logs between the two of them. Uh -huh. um, and actually, like this actually hasn't been announced, but like whatever, um, <laughs> uh, Matthew's gonna be in it. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, he, uh, I, he's a, one of the other side characters and then I'm in it too. And I play the fourth character. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, the first episode's almost done. So I'm excited about it. 
that's fantastic. And just like the learning curve to figuring out how to put a, an episode together, I'm sure we'll make the rest of them come uh, come along a lot faster. They're actually almost done. Like we oh, wow. we've written all of them and we've recorded all of them too. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, we've got a couple really good, like, cool, like audio ver audio drama verse uh, cameos in it. Oh, like nice. just people that people that I'm friends with who I asked to be in the <laughs> show. That's fantastic. And no, it turned. It looks like this vent might have been a lot of nothing. Damn, this vent's a lie. This vent is so long too. It's such a long space to find out. It's a lie. Yeah, the um, the person that I wrote the uh, second star with, I met uh, when we were writing for the strange case of Starship Iris. Mm. Um, and then we finished with that, and then we decided to make our own space podcast. That's fantastic. I didn't realize that you worked on uh, Starship Iris. Yeah, we worked on it. Um, we like did some of the drafting for season two, but I'm not really sure what happened with it. It hasn't come out yet. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Make, uh, make sure you tell me yeah. when uh, when it comes out. I will. I will. Uh, yeah, I have a bunch of... I, I do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive, honestly. Like, I, I have eventually needed to come around to the fact that I am much more comfortable having one project that takes up literally all of my time as opposed to a That's... lot of little projects. That's fair. Uh, I've just never been good at that. Mm. Uh, I'll get, get back in, but okay, there we go. So we can go in here, but I don't know why we would want to, because there's just, just that the ambiance. who's, oh, who's gone now, so we can pick this up. So come with a suppressor, that's neat. Yeah, I really like Space Podcast too. Um, I mean, Penumbra, I think was made for a Space Podcast? that I listen to. But like, I, I like kind of just like cold found Penumbra. I just kept getting like wrecked to me on my like iTunes, Apple podcast wrecks. Mm -hmm. And I remember just like listening to it and being like, oh, this is, this is fun. I like space. I like space and I like detectives. And I was like, <laughs> kind of gay. And then by the end of the first episode, I was like, it's really gay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I still absolutely love periodically. I don't I don't look at like social media reactions to our show all that much, but periodically someone will send me someone's first uh, Penumbra episode watch, and that series of reactions happens a lot, and I always really enjoy it. Yeah, I remember being like, oh, I actually um in the very very beginning of I think it's like in the very beginning of the first episode where um. Juno describes um, uh, Nureyev or Rex Glass and mm -hmm. just, and describes like his sharp teeth. Yeah, I was like, oh, a, a gay person wrote this. <laughs> 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 That's a gay thing to mention. Uh, guilty as charged. <laughs> thank you, thank you for seeing me. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I uh, and then I like went around telling everybody. I I'm not caught up. I need to catch up. Just been like so busy. I get that. I feel like I'm not caught up in my own show. <laughs> I think the last one I listened to was the. I I really like the one with the jewel heist or the jewel thief. The what's her name? The jewel is the a... the party. Oh. Like they go to that like party. Man, uh, Man in Glass, yeah. That was the the one that's yeah. from Maria's perspective. Yes, I love that. Yeah, that one was really fun to write. His perspective is very odd. I'm like I'm losing it about these security cameras right now, and I really don't remember where to go at all. Really? Yeah. Does anybody know where to go? Gumba, help me. Um, uh, you hmm. don't have to see me if you don't want to. Gumba, do you know what we're supposed to do? Are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> the 
this is, yeah, this is, I think it's the only thing that's in this room. Are we not on the right floor? Maybe, but like, I don't, I, did, I couldn't see anything else on the other floors that we would, that we would need to do. Hmm. Could gonna, you ask that? Could, hmm. We're gonna we're gonna call Colonel and see if he helps. Snake. Nope, that's Naomi. Psychomantis has the power to read people's minds. He got the DARPA chief's detonation code. Hurry up, or he'll get Baker's code too. I was just like not expecting. Okay. I don't know, Gumba. You just seem to know things sometimes. <laughs> Um, See, you've got to understand, I'm just the middleman in this operation. Mm -hmm. Anyway, hurry up and get really? to the second floor <laughs> He's like, I don't know where you're supposed to fucking go. The <laughs> okay, the second floor basement, okay? Okay, so it didn't, no, I didn't mean to. Hurry up and get to the second floor basement. All right, thanks, Colonel. Yeah, there we down go. to the second floor basement. <laughs> Mentally, I'm in the second floor basement. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's 2020 for you, baby. Uh-huh. All right. Boop, boop. They don't want me to get through there. Boop. Isn't there, didn't he say, like, look for a place where the walls are a different color or something like that? Is that a thing we have he did, but we don't have, like, C4, and I really doubt they want me to... Blow up left bottom wall. Do we have C... Do we not have C4? No, we don't have C4. It was probably in a room somewhere. Maybe. I could just... I could try just throwing a grenade at it <laughs> so we can keep this thing Yeah, moving. we need C4, I think. All right. Um, okay, so I actually don't think I checked all of these rooms, so maybe we to miss C4. Just run around with your grenade. Yeah, just nobody get close. Okay. Yeah, I've been playing um, Dishonored, like, a ton. And those, like, people do not vanish when you kill them. So you have, like, these bodies that you need to get rid of. <laughs> um, mostly I just choke people out. But there you go. Yeah, I found it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 is like that. And it's, like... It's super cool. It genuinely is super cool. And just, I think part of the reason I find Metal Gear Solid 2 really hard oh, to play. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Nope, that put another one down. How do I set these off? That's how. Can I pick that up if I crawl over it? Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah. Nope. Just gonna do nope. a couple laps. Nada. All right. <laughs> uh... No, so I mean, you wasn't... should be able to pick it up because C4 is a very stable. Oh, this wall is slightly different color. There we go. This is not the screen I usually play the PS2 on. <laughs> <laughs> Did you blow yourself up? I forgot that one was down there. God damn it! <laughs> You know, it's it's true. I've been hearing people say it forever from <laughs> watching streams. But when people say that, like, you become significantly dumber when you're playing a game while you're streaming. Oh, absolutely. I was, I'm so bad at um, games when I stream because I try to read the comments. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think, I think that my, the, the chat that was there when I was playing through Mario 64 knows that there were a few stars in there that I took easily three times as much time as I should have because I kept looking at the chat and falling off an edge. Oh yeah, that's just how you, that's that's streaming for you. <laughs> All right, there we go. We're gonna put that away so I don't hurt anybody. And we're gonna put that on. Don't like not having radar. Well, that's, uh, hmm. This wall looks a little different. There 
There we go. There we go. I'm remembering. Hey, do I need to use all this C4? Kind of looking like. So watch out! Don't blow yourself up. Really shouldn't just walk full oh. face in each room, but. You, that ain't it. All right. Now I gotta figure out what to do in here. Um, I think. Gotta say, this is a very sneaky way to infiltrate a facility. <laughs> <laughs> if we blow up all the walls, they won't know where we are. Yeah, they won't know. They won't know that there was ever walls here. <laughs> Hey, do you remember- like we blow every wall up in the whole place. Do you remember building this, like, huge open concept room? <laughs> well, he can Watch still out. see me, but he can't touch me. So, uh... I feel like the... Okay. Now I know what you meant by watch out. <laughs> it, was, it was the ration, is what you meant. Oh, there are there like dead ends in this explosive in this explosive uh, little labyrinth. I don't know. Cause I do think I saw another explodable wall up at the top right here. It's not a different color, just cracks. <laughs> um. Well, while you figure that out, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Be right back. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try that tunnel again. Let's see what we got. Another room right wall. Okay. We did get a couple of right walls in a row, Airfu, so I don't know if you meant one of those. There's definitely this one. And there's definitely this one. Whoa, all right. All right, look ahead. Oh, this makes it easier to see the walls too. Okay, this is good to know. Now left. Oh, thank you for the navigation. That wall, all right. Not in there. So it's in here on the left? Oh! Oh my, yeah, that is a different color. It's wild that their idea of a different colored wall is uh, blue-green versus green-blue. But there we go. Perfect. Here we are. Am I too late? Oh dear. We figured it out just in time for you to come see yes. the good and terrible He's boy. Alive. You're the arms. Yes, to my favorite writer. person. <laughs> Don't worry. The greatest character in all of video games. The greatest and most valid character. <laughs> That's such a good introduction to like So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. There he is, Sean, looking Special like an old West gunslinger. There he is. Revolver Ocelot. I've been waiting for you, Solid State. <laughs> now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. He's just told us that 
there this are the greatest primed explosives ever everywhere. The cold single and we need to move very carefully, and then he twirls his gun around. <laughs> Fern and the fur just to impress us. I love that, like, oh, so you get him in this, and then you get him in MGS3 as Jungle Twink. <laughs> right. In, in MGS3, he's just like. He's just. He's like 19, I think. In right, MGS3. he's just such a punk. Oh my god, when I first played this game, it blew my mind that they show you the, uh, the, the bullets in Ocelot's gun. Mm hmm. This is also, he says such weird horny yeah, stuff in this part. Yeah. Like, there's nothing like slamming a long silk bullet into a well God, you're right. Into a Yeah, world. there you go. Into there a you go. Priest chaser. <laughs> nothing like saying weird stuff, like weird horny stuff to your true love son. Nope, can't shoot through the middle. Oh, okay, all right, I'm remembering, I'm remembering. Solid Snake's whole life is just like dealing with his dad's exes. <laughs> it's like Scott Pilgrim, except instead of dealing with your girlfriend's exes, you're dealing with your dad's exes. <laughs> Which does sound inherently superior. Yeah. God, it's so it's so weird to like that like the 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 like co the the context of the big boss games like change so many things about the game. Like everything so much is so different once you like know where everybody came from. Right. No, absolutely. Are some right there in the explosives <laughs> that concerns it's, me a little. Th yeah, it, this is a very gay series. Like, co like, not even just like shipping goggles. It's like, ew. You said, <laughs> you've said to me that there are a lot of like major plot points that just don't make sense. If not yeah, I mean, also, like, Peace Walker is very, like, there. there's, like, a side quest where you cannot, like, canonically go on a date with Cause. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, we gotta... We gotta play that. For sure, for sure. All right. Went the wrong way. Okay. The other thing that I... <laughs> The thing that I forgot, especially about the, the first couple games in this series, is that part of the reason the controls are so weird is just because they're very, like, complicated. Like, in order to move and shoot at the same time, I need to hold down square and then press X, but I need to do it in that order. Yeah, it has very, like, finicky old, like, Japanese shooter game, like, mm -hmm. controls. with the ration ahead of time. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of... Yeah, there's... <laughs> All right. I, yeah, I've wired this whole place up. I've been saying <laughs> I'm being out at your dad in the jungle when I was 19. <laughs> I think maybe the first bit of like Metal Gear I ever saw me Ocelot and Snake Eater, like where he just like shows up and he's like meows a bunch and then like talks about revolvers and Big Boss like steps on his head. I don't know. Right. Get me a man who talks uh, about me like Revolver Ocelot talks about his revolvers. 
God, he loves. Well, actually, I think he doesn't have a revolver at first, and then like Naked Snake is like, you should, you should use revolvers, and then he, right, and then he takes that and makes it his whole personality. Your crush compliments your shirt once, and that's the only shirt you'll ever wear. Yep. Yes. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. But to you, you be the smell of your own. And even and like para, like I think Eva even like points out to Naked Snake like how like weird she he's like why is Ocelot so obsessed with me? She's like <laughs> you don't know why, and he's like no. She's like oh boy. <laughs> Buddy, it's the '60s or whatever. You gotta get with it. Yeah, come on. <laughs> okay, I don't know why Ocelot's suddenly behaving himself, but this is suddenly going okay. Yeah, them showing how many bullets he has rules, actually. It's so cool. And, like, every boss... Well, not every, but, like, almost every boss in this game has some goofy premise to them that is always so cool. Snake's dad's code name was Naked Snake, yes. <laughs> That's, I've known that for so long that it did not occur to me that it was weird. Yeah. Later, he's big boss, but before before uh, President Lyndon jo makes him big Right! <laughs> I hate these games, they're so stupid. <laughs> U.S. presidents continually main characters in these games. Yeah, I mean, George doesn't George Bush grab Raiden's dick? He's, he... No, isn't that a different... Doesn't it turn out in the end that that's not the same George Bush? I mean, it, I think it is. doesn't have the same name, but I think he's... I mean, it's 2001. Mm -hmm. No, Metal Gear Rising uh, Revengeance has yet another president of the United States in a major role. It's maybe the goofiest. There he goes. Oh, I love him. Oh, yeah, he loses his hand in this. Yeah. I fucking forgot about that. You meet him as the best sharpshooter ever, and 30 seconds later, he yeah. loses his shooting hand. He loses his fucking hand. Yeah. Can't you even die right? Fucking dipshit. We'll meet again. Oh, the, it's the ninja. <laughs> I don't remember how far the fight with Grey Fox is into this, but I hope we get there, because his lines during that are just exquisite. There's... I want to get to, yeah, I want to get to Otacon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those would be the same spot. <laughs> it's just like in one of my Japanese anime. Exactly. Bye. He's fucking doing ninja shit. <laughs> Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of But yeah, no, the, the, the president of the United States does grab Raiden's dick. Oh my god. Oh, I get it. Jim I mean like it's, I, I know it's because it's you, I know it's because you've seen them much more recently than I have. But whenever you remind me of these plot points, I'm genuinely shocked that it was within the capacity of the human brain to forget these things happen. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind role. He could look at this guy. He's really like okay. <laughs> He's mind a probe. Kind of like a still waving that camera, but. Everyone who knows these top secret Kojima creators. is like a madman. He, I just like one day want to be as awful as he is. That's all I want. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I think people in the chat are pointing out that I did exactly what I just said it was funny by introducing a sharpshooter and then taking away their sharpshooting ability. It looks like he had some. Did you do that? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, again, like this was. It, I, I haven't played this since high school, but when I did, this was, this blew my mind. This was, like, the next level in storytelling I had ever seen. Um, yeah. So, I'm sure that 
huge aspects of it are still leaking in. I know that like lo lots and lots of people that I know were very inspired by Metal Gear. Um, there's a character that's going to be in our comic who's like a big uh, Metal Gear reference. A heart attack. Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes um, now. I'm playing on the, uh, on the PlayStation. Totally insane. PlayStation 2. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. Sorry, you're saying? But what did the mm, I don't remember what I was saying, but yeah, you did take away Juno's. You know, he lost his eye. Yep. Yes, he lost his eye. Yep. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. And I still have. You know, I wasn't thinking about this at the time, but it does feel right. I heard you had them. Mm hmm No, not anymore. What? Who does that? Not the terrorists. No, that woman. I feel like that. Um, having a character lose something of theirs is like. The Chad version of character die to give them like drama. Right, right. They have to lose give an eye instead of lose your girlfriend. I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope Kojima should direct a movie. That's what he really wants to do. You can tell. It's, yeah, no, it's it's very clear. No, she escaped. What do you want to do? I was in contact with her by codec. So I wonder what would happen if Kojima directed the gay porn. I think he'd be great at it. I think it would It would probably just be the... This. Yeah, it would be the transcript from Metal Gear Solid, and then when it got time for the sex, he would just hand it off to somebody else. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I forgot. Damn. I can't believe that's a major plot point. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. On the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. Which one? Contact her right away. But oh, the, the back of the CD case! Yeah. Some other way to God, I fucking forgot about that! Oh, God, I love this game! Uh, my, my CD case is in storage, so I'm gonna need to do this. <laughs> Who's that? The of the <laughs> Check the back of the jewel case! God! Right. Uh, Airfree's got us. Thank you. One for you. Oh, thank you. It's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Everyone knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? I have a friend who put it very well that like the cool like cool thing about Kojima's writing Metal Gear is that Kojima kind of fetishizes um elements of Western culture in the way that um Western people often do that to like Eastern culture. That's really like the way that we exoticize things from like Japan and stuff. But Kojima does that with like the with like, wouldn't it be sexy if these Russian spies and like, I, I love that. <laughs> no, exactly. It's like instead of this, like, instead of, I think the American endless uh, obsession with like the Sengoku era. It, this is all right. just Cold War fan fiction. Right. No, I mean he's like, wouldn't it be like Peace Walker is like, wouldn't it be cool? American guy like went to the South American jungle and he looked kind of like Che Guevara and he like fought the CIA with a bunch of Sandinistas. Wouldn't that be hot? <laughs> right, right. It's just this like smush of like vague like events that happened in the West. Uh, mm -hmm. And we're gonna pin them all on the same dude. Like, it's actually, it's a plot point in Peace Walker that Big Boss kind of looks like Shea Guevara. That's so funny. We live in an yeah. age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Yeah, yeah, thank God games weren't political then. <laughs> oh my God. But, I, like, when I was playing this when I was 17, this, again, blew my mind. This was the first time I'd ever had any of these thoughts. About nuclear disarmament? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a game about nuclear deterrence. Cool. <laughs> right, exactly. The industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to the so-called Yeah, you're like, cool, I'm, I love to play this video game. Oh, it's about how, uh, like, MG5, fun video America in, in, uh, during World War II and everything after it has just been death rows. <laughs> I love video games. <laughs> Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black Like when they dropped the bomb, the world ended? Oh. Right. Yeah, I remember when I was like in my, um, in my live tweet thread, I was like, okay, wait, why is 
why is Ocelot a cowboy? And then everybody was just like, he's gay. And I was like, I guess. No, I mean, it's the best explanation I can think of. was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'm expecting. I love these cutscenes, and also they are so long. This is what you came for. Yeah. God, the cutscenes in MGS4, there's like one at the end that's like, be five minutes long. Right, is it, isn't like in some total the cutscenes in MGS4 come out to like eight hours? Like a feature film, yeah. All the data collected from this exercise. I do love the horse in, in MGS5. It's fun to ride the horse. Oh my god, I love that the horse is technically an agent. Yeah. What's the horse's name, do you remember? D-horse. Diamond horse. <laughs> Just like D-dog, diamond dog. Diamond dog, right. I love D-dog. D-Dog is the answer to the age-old question, how does a dog wear pants? <laughs> That's true. And it non it's, you know, it's so forward-thinking that it also answered uh, the question nobody had asked, which was, how does the dog wear a tactical vest? Yeah, exactly. Dark little secret. experimental The dog wears pants. Quiet doesn't wear really anything, so the dog had to wear pants. Excuse me, pants are for dog. Not yeah, pants person. not for girls, pants for dog. <laughs> she knows better than I. Have you seen the um the you model swap somebody them. did where they um they swapped quiet like in that scene where quiet and venom play around in the well, rain, somebody swapped Ocelot's model with quiet. <laughs> you know, I think I have and I think I didn't understand what it was what? until you just said that. Yeah, Kojima retweeted oh, it. No. <laughs> Oh my god. He is just he's just such a such a chaotic being. Did you ever play or watch any of Death Stranding? Oh I, I played it, yeah. Yeah. I played the I played yeah. the beginning and then like my the other things in my life got hard and that is that was not a chill out game for me, so I had to put it down. Um, yeah, it's really it's good. It's it's very good, it's weird. It's kind of like it's so earnest, which is weird because Metal Gear is like so cynical. Like That's a lot true. of it, like the big boss games are so cynical. Are so like now Death Stranding kind of feels like Metal Gear Solid Five, no if idea. but Don't like not it looked like another depressing. Attack. Yeah, no, I mean from what from what I saw, it seems like it just it just believes so hard in the inherent value of human connection. It also is like about like it's it's like could you be on that phone? I trust her. <laughs> you can trust me. Get in contact with her. You know, all of these huge black sludge monsters would go her. away if you would it just get off okay if you do burst transmission yeah, exactly. like us, but transmission Also, it's like, you ever, have you ever wanted to manipulate Try Norman Reed from that area? Body? <laughs> get a hold of yourself. It's a very <laughs> realistic take on Norman Reed's body. Yeah. Remember Foxhound? No. I remember sure? when he literally yes, got on stage at E3 idea. and told everyone that no that can't right. read his Stay. penis. <laughs> you. They, in the game though, they taunt you with it. It's the yeah, most you would think because you can have him take a shower, but like part of the shower covers exclusively that. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it literally was just like, what's an excuse for me to put like Mads Mikkelsen in a video game because he is obsessed with Matt Smigelson. And you know what? That that just means he has good taste. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend a lot of time and, and energy lovingly rendering Mads Mickelson's weird mouth. <laughs> okay, I have the key card. Can I like to get through? Uh, this is the downside to us uh, hanging out. Oh, there we go. To us hanging out and chatting during uh, cutscenes that I have no idea. We don't listen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you could probably ask the colonel. That's true. Uh, I, I just got a new key card, so I kind of want to check out if it works in here. You're not looking at me. Nope. That wasn't close enough to the wall. Scoot away, <laughs> and we're out. All right. Yeah, this is very uh, tactical espionage action by way of oh. Mr. Bean. We need to find Meryl. Need to find Meryl. Okay. 
Let's oh, see. we have to look at her. We have to look at different soldiers' asses, right? Oh my god, I forgot about that. 140.15. Yes, that's what we were, were told to call. No, that's not what I meant to do. The dark uh, I think we just saw this. Alright. 140.15. God, I miss Codex. So do I. Who are you? Codex are just audio pastoral logs. <laughs> You're the Colonel's niece, Meryl, right? It, you know, it no, made me. It's not him. It made me kind of sad that exactly that five dropped you? them so I'm totally. Your because me too. What they had for them, you where you could yourself? listen to it while you, you went around kind of and did your stuff, army? was I think I don't the best. Solutions like in the codex you know. situation. How do you know my uh, in any of the games. Yeah, I, I liked being able to walk around and listen What's to the tapes when you're not well, listening to like important. rebel yell. <laughs> Could you be snake? Are you solid snake? Or that spooky That's good cover so cool. of uh, the man who sold the world. That is a great. You? Oh boy, listen. Sorry at at the end of the game, sure the song while some shit is happening, and I just like had a breakdown. It's yeah, no, I think I I think eyes. I know what you're referring to. They're so I'm wondering if I did eyes. see the true ending eyes, right? and just didn't know to call no, it that. They're beautiful. Um, mm. We we can talk about that oh, later. That that I'm one came out recently enough that I, and it's it's a beautiful enough experience that if you're in the Don't chat and you haven't played it, you probably should. Just what I'd expect from the legendary solid snake. He's like, oh, I love to to hit on teenage girls via codec. Because you know how old Mei Ling is. Oh you no. The terrorist leader, Liquid How old? She's 16. Yeah. She, what? You know You're not yeah, brother, she's 16. He I doesn't know, know that, though. So what's the deal? Yeah, she's 16. Oh god. I don't think he knows that, though, because she works for the fucking FBI. In this from the beginning. What exactly like, he. <laughs> this oh, is I'm not sorry. Snake's fault. I was right. captured along with so President Baker. Right can after the he see attack. their faces That's in okay. these? Because I feel like it's very inconsistent. I yeah, I don't think he can see their faces now. Facility. Because the codex supposedly, like, boy, oh, it's boy, the, like, like small that. bones inside Nobody your ear you or anything, whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. It's, it's 1998, guys. <laughs> by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. Also, he just, you know, he... Colonel. Snake sucks, guys. <laughs> I love him, but he sucks. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, I think that one also, of the... like, he and Meryl, like, canonically get together in the end of this game, but then at the beginning of the next one, he hasn't talked to her in, like, a long time. So probably they get together for, like, two weeks and then realize as an 18... And a 32 year old, they have nothing to talk about. Right. I think that on a macro level, the series is pretty good at showing that, like, that Solid Snake's weird passes at a 16 year old FBI agent aren't that great. No, yeah. I mean, also, like, he's under a lot of pressure. Right. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the Yeah. I, uh. He then, I think. Well, I mean. Otacon's kind of a lot younger than him, too, but whatever. Anyway, you met Baker, <laughs> He's like 25, I think. It's better than 18. What? Yeah. Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. It gets really weird when you get to the age where suddenly, like, everybody who's, like, a default young age is younger than you. Yeah. It is really weird to be 30 and then everybody's, like, every... Yes. And I'm like, oh, you know the person. that's you, one of the reasons I liked here. about uh, Penumbra, because it has a romance yes. between two people it's over 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was important to us. I mean, largely because, like, it just gives you so much more room to, to, to yeah, build a life, you know what I mean? I think they're yeah. forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. Your perspective like now, I look at like I just played the remake of FF7, and Cla like Cloud makes so much more right. sense to me now that I can be like, baby, you are 21. Right. Yep. Because I played it when I was like 15, so he seemed like a grown up. But now I can be like, oh, a child. <laughs> right. Right. What's the best way to get to no, the No, and so, the yeah, even the, the ways in which There's I haven't played all the way through Final Fantasy VII, actually. 
actually. What's, What's the, the security, security level of the door there? there? No, there. I've actually I've I've played the Midgar okay. section. I have a really bad history well, with I've got to go Final Fantasy doctor. games where I play the beginning over and I'm over and over again you. and never get any no further. Way. I would count I would count Final Fantasy IX as one of my favorite games of all time. And also I got it the year it came out and I didn't get past the first disc until maybe six years ago. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just couldn't it's pull funny. the trigger right away. I haven't played Nine. It's my wife's favorite, so training, I should probably play it. When I thought but... about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, Nine I is lovely. And I, I really should like the cartoon. Should it live and breathe? Yeah. Isn't everyone? Isn't everyone like a Ever cat boy a and girl, shit? I've yeah. About no, it's so definitely time. like. Every day of my you know, life, where, where I, I think that other or future Final Fantasy day, games got really invested in, like, okay, what are the so races in this fantasy now, world, etc. So right uh, in quit. nine, it's just like you walk into a metropolis, and some people are fish people, and some people are hippo people, and yes, it's just now, it's just everybody feels the, the first time they kill this someone. kind of melange of different kinds of people held to this incredible extreme that. The game no never more. feels the need All to comment on, and I, I just cool. absolutely love that. Yeah. Come out. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we have the military-industrial complex. <laughs> well, Meryl being like, I need to be a soldier because of soldiery. Snake being like, no, that sucks. <laughs> Don't do that. That sucks shit. Adrenaline <laughs> in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high. He's like, Don't be a soldier, actually. <laughs> For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. Yeah. I'm riddled with PTSD. Think about that you know, stuff. and this is okay. This is less a joke than I wish it was. I had a lot of conversations with uh, teachers that went basically like this when I was just starting out becoming a teacher. That's so funny. <laughs> that were basically like, oh yeah, you know, we do. Okay, we do snake. good things in this I'll job, and girl. are you are you sure? We'll link up are you? Grab the doctor. You might want to think again about that. I mean, that's like gotcha. what I have like I when people are like, "Should I be a writer?" And I'm like, "Me, if you really, really careful, it, okay, <laughs> and you're willing to make <laughs> shit money." Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're if you're willing, no, circle is select, and I'll go back in this game. Don't be so impatient. Um, uh, yeah, no, I and just like if. Yeah, so long. If you want to do more work than you've ever conceived of in your entire life. Yep. Every so often you'll get like I just actually got a cor I got a corporate job recently. Uh, I'm I'm writing tie-in fiction for Magic: The Gathering. Oh, cool. <laughs> um, which like pays really well. Nice. Yeah. Congratulations, that rules. Thanks. Yeah, I do love. I love. I love Snake. I love Solid Snake. He makes me so sad. <laughs> no. He's had a rough time. Okay. Yeah. I know that. Uh, Meryl's opening a door for me somewhere. The uh, the the bay door somewhere. Perfect. I think we've only seen one of those on the first floor. So. I think it's a rumor that they're remaking this, but I feel like that there's like a Metal Gear rumor every. Yeah. People just really want more of it, and like I get it. I mean, I don't know if I'll creep some Homestuck references. I feel like everything I write is tinged with a little bit of Homestuck. Now I can't help it. Like Andrew's in Andrew lives rent free in my brain. Don't worry, I'm disguised. That's pretty fantastic. You won't be yeah, there's certain the ways that I'll I, I'll even like I use some fucking slang uh, with nothing. one of the magic this people I'm working with, and they were like, "Oh, like is that from the West Coast?" It's equipped with some home stuff. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas. Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage uh, building. I've just Wait, been informed that if uh, if they see me, I we're gonna suffocate to death. So we're cool. gonna see how this so goes. We're gonna suffocate a lot, I guess. But this yeah. is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. <laughs> Sucks. See you there. Yeah, Meryl does go really, really fast from I've never killed anybody to please bring me more people that I can kill. Yeah, I mean, Meryl is... Oh, poor Meryl. She's really cool in MGS4, but even then she's like, I admire you so much, I am a murderer. Right, right. <laughs> Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. 
You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that okay. wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off. And the oh yeah, you can smoke to see gas. them, but yeah. I think you can also put Somehow on just like goggles or something. Off those sensors. Right. I don't know if I got those. Oh no, I did. They're thermal goggles. Let's put those on. All right. I was very, very close. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. It's really hard to see. Like, you have to look up. Of the... oh. oh, man. The other thing that keeps. Us, yeah, the other thing that keeps uh, tripping me up is, like, there's not uh -oh. much. There's not much, like, uh, small granular movement in this. It's like you tap up on the D pad and Snake uh -oh. takes several steps. I think I'm just dead. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Uh -oh. <laughs> he just fucking <laughs> just starfishes. <laughs> I love him. It's what they had before Ragdoll. Uh, I, I do real quick want to use the the SIGs just to see if it lets you see the laser beams in this game. I know it does in later games. Yeah, if you smoke when you there smoke into um, uh, Otacon lectures you a bunch. He tells you to stop smoking. <laughs> Snake, it's not good for you. He's, yeah, he's like a nagging wife. <laughs> Snake, honey, you promised. Yeah. All right. Uh, level two card. There we go. Oh God, Gumba Mass, I forgot about Metal Gear Survive. Literally just... That game sucks shit. No, I forgot it existed. I'm sure it was terrible. Snake. Yeah. Be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Oh, this... Oh, there Are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. <laughs> You're not using burst transmission. No, you're from the Watergate scandal. <laughs> There's a tank in front of your position. Deep Throat is the is an informant, anyway? guys. That's what it. That's <laughs> right. If <laughs> the informant from the Watergate scandal was called Deep Throat, <laughs> right. from the Watergate scandal, uh, no, I was just. It's from a movie. Never mind. No. <laughs> So I'm supposed to use a mind scanner, they said? Uber, look it up. <laughs> nope, but if... All right, we're gonna potentially kill Snake right now. But it's either in this game... Um, I think if you I think if you crawl, he'll just pick them up. That's what I thought, so that's what I'm crawl trying. Crawl over them, yeah. Uh, I didn't skip whatever cutscene just happened, but it appears we jumped straight past it. Cool. All right. Is this should have been crawling? Unless we're dealing with Vulcan Raven right now. Oh my god, I forgot about this boss fight. Okay. Oh, this boss fight fucking rules. <laughs> you have to just like you have to throw like a, a grenade into his um right. tank, right? Right. And that's probably why we can't just lie down and pick him up. Okay. There he is. <laughs> This fucking guy. This guy's like, hey. Is Vulcan Raven the? Oh, that hurts a lot. I uh, is Vulcan Raven the most forgettable of the set in this game? Because I feel like he might be. He might be. I mean, or uh, yeah, I don't fucking remember anything about him. Nope, nope. I just threw two grenades. I <laughs> didn't mean to do that. <laughs> And uh, the second one I threw at myself, but later. Oh yeah, the fucking octopus guy. Yeah, decoy the, octopus. The, the coolest, I think that the coolest boss fight in all of um, in all of the whole series is decoy octopus in MGS4. I forgot he was in four. Or uh, decoy octopus, the 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 um, the girl. The four, right. like the beauties or the whatever they're called, the BBs. Right. The the decoy octopus girl who like makes her turns herself into like weird shit and. Yeah. Yeah. 
they were in like they were in pretty bad taste. Uh, but I did appreciate like um, Snake uh, repeatedly like cringing back in fear from a tiny woman, Micra. <laughs> No, they found out my one true fear. Yeah. Okay. So, that didn't work. Uh, yeah, that, that, that one didn't work. <laughs> Let's, uh... God, maybe... Do you have maybe, a sniper rifle? I don't. I just got I just got this pistol. I got some chaff grenades, in, which might disable the tank for a sec. Maybe. Um, yeah, you could try. Uh, we just listen to this code echo. <laughs> wow. I I think I went to the equipment wheel right when the landmine blew up. That, <laughs> that was rules. crazy. That rules. I love that. We've got a suggestion to chat first, if that makes sense. Oh, but now we get to see this cutscene. This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Snakes don't belong in Alaska! <laughs> yes! I, that was one of my favorite lines when I first played this game. Also, though, I think Snake has been living, he lives in Alaska with, like, 20 dogs. Right. He lives right. with a bunch of huskies. Right, it's, it's, ground, Snake like has been, like, living wall. quietly since Metal Gear 2 with just a bunch of huskies in Alaska. Yeah, I think he's, like, an, an alcoholic in Alaska. And so then, then he and Otacon just, like, become, like, 2001 Antifa and, like, or something. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow, he does take a long time to just laugh at me, huh? All right, <laughs> chapter is gonna go off. Morgana, hi. My kitty's coming to visit. Aww. Get in there. Oh, get in there. Baby. <laughs> All right, this is going okay. I still think that, um, ow, Mona, don't be rude. <laughs> um, I still think that, uh, Psycho Mantis is one of the funniest names in all of video game. Oh, for sure. Um, it's also a valid troll name. <laughs> We're getting there. I got one more ration. Try one more chaff. She <laughs> just threw it in the air. <laughs> well, that was the chaff grenade, so that one's okay. Where? Oh my god! Stop backing up! Why are you running away from me? You're in a tank. <laughs> there we go. I like in the fourth game where you go back to Shadow Moses and it's like Otacon and Snake have like a stroll down memory lane right. and Otacon's like, how did you beat that tank anyway? And and he's like, oh, I beat it with a gun. And Otacon's like, you beat a tank with a gun? Snake, you're so cool. You're my hero. <laughs> it's just it's just so nice to see two old flames love fall in love with each other all over again. Yeah. Also, you can see the piss stain on the ground where they met. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, isn't part of their like flashback in PS1 graphics? Yes. I'm a sucker for that, honestly. That gets me every time. I remember when we were made of two polygons. <laughs> your polygons were mostly your ass. I th yeah, I think part of it is it's like a, an extension of the well, dad joke that before color TVs invented were invented, the world really wasn't black and white. Yeah. Watch your tongue, Sean. Oh, yeah. Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him. 
Okay, bro. <laughs> you and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. <laughs> Every guy. Everyone's so extra. Everybody's incredible. Like, this is Big Boss's squad. Like, Big Boss <laughs> picked up all these fucking... So I think we lost the last word there. Like, this is just like Big Boss's whole weird squad that he... <laughs> right. No, the, Big Boss could have chosen anybody, and these are these are his friends. <laughs> these are the people he mm -hmm. picked. All right. Uh, we, could, we have life. Okay, we have a level three card now. Yeah, his friends. Like, they're all just like... Like, he's just a deranged cult leader, and they all basically love him, so... <laughs> There's a, there's a man coming, and I'm, you know, I'm actually gonna learn my lesson this time. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nano machine so that he won't oh. be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Oh, thank you. That's Have not you scary. Forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Don't you see them? What? Yeah, I can't shoot my gun? <laughs> here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here. <laughs> there are there warheads in these spots. <laughs> totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. I forgot about Nastasha. All of the warheads in oh, those yeah. boxes Nastasha, are like, mechanisms removed. So I don't no think she's in any of the other games. But if the warheads are broken, they might be She might even be totally optional in this game. Problem. She might be a person that you can get away with never calling. Never if I recall. Yeah, I think I think so. I I very rarely. Yeah. Let's uh let's see what she's up to. This is She's some ru some fucking Russian. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. She's pretty hot though. <laughs> a pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. It's a very good voice, and like also just because of the amount of the portrait that's animated and the amount that isn't, like that cigarette has to be staple cigarette. <laughs> There's just no way that that would stick there. We must yeah. not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear the secret, like, of any kind. I was, I've been, I yeah, playing Dishonored, and everybody, Silent and Dishonored, everyone's hands are really huge. Are about um, so when they smoke, the they smoke like huge fucking cigarettes, so it always looks like they're <laughs> smoking <laughs> huge blunts. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with So... Hopefully that'll be enough. But, so if the hand is huge and the cigarette is huge, doesn't that just make their head look really small? I mean, like, the, it looks fine with, I mean, the art style, the, their head, like, their heads do look pretty small compared to their hands. The second game is a little bit less like that. The first game, I respect how dedicated they were to making everyone look ugly as shit. <laughs> Everybody just looks like a toe in that game. <laughs> it's a real dedication. All right. I think we're supposed to go up there. Is there, are there stairs over there? Yes, there are. Okay. Nope, not yet. Scoot on through. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. And they got the gas. God, I'm, life I'm, sucks. I'm just one man. I'm just one man with 180 IQ. <laughs> God, it, I've actually I've I've really been getting a taste for this. So if if uh, if I do end up streaming more of this, first off, I'd I'd love to have you there for the journey. And also, I'm definitely gonna need to practice a little bit off stream. 
<laughs> yeah, we sad. should. We should. We should do more. Uh, we yeah. Our um. Our spooky. Our spooky. Uh, our spooky stream is going to start next week. Uh, yeah, I think October starts beginning of this week, so or, or the end yeah. of this week, so it should be next week. God, I got to fucking post. Yeah, we have two more days. We have two more days to post. <laughs> we post two Homestuck 2 updates every month. We still have to post the second one. Oh, gotcha. Thank you, Gumba. Chill stream. Thank you. Yeah, everybody, if you haven't, I don't know who's, everybody should follow Kevin. Uh, subscribe, like, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> you should listen to his podcast, too, if you don't. Yeah, and, uh, and, Aisha, what's your, what's your, what's your Twitch channel so that I can direct the people that my, usually watch you? My Twitch is, uh, Aisha U, A-Y-S-H-A-U, uh, is my Twitch channel. Um, and I'm on Twitter too. I mostly just tweet about video games. <laughs> you can still dig back and see the full uh, Metal Gear Solid live tweet. I did. I I think that when you were doing those, it was maybe the very beginning of when you and I first started talking. So I did read all of your live tweets about oh, really about Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, <laughs> because it was like it was very like living vicariously through. That's not that, that's not Meryl. Um. That's not Meryl. <laughs> it's, I think yeah. we can conclude that. There, this, this peeing man is significant in some way, but I don't remember what. He's he's really got to piss real bad. He's oh, there he's. It's right on time. Cool. All right. Bye. Sorry. Yeah. Hope you had a good last piss. <laughs> that is, this is the kind of dumb attention to detail that I love. When Snake gets close to the automatic hand dryer, it, it makes the noise. <laughs> it's cool. We'll just slowly clear out every person in this facility until it's just us and Liquid Snake. Yeah, romantic. <laughs> Wait, no, that's his brother. Never mind. <laughs> track of who's whose brother in this <laughs> everybody is related and or dated yeah everybody either is related to snake or dated his dad <laughs> level three okay we can't go in there just gonna have this on oh wait but i can check that door too nope Also, always have a really, really bad habit of being incredibly patient or impatient in every game I play, and that was a problem back when I played Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Yeah. When I started, when I I was playing MGS Five a ton, and then I started playing Dishonored, and I, was, man, I kept wanting to like crawl on the ground. <laughs> you can't in that game. But now I'm sure I'm gonna go from Dishonored to anything else be like, why can't I fucking teleport with my magic powers? <laughs> right. Let me through. All right, so we just got, we got the Nikita. So I think now we're at the part where you've got to like pilot the Nikita through the gas chamber and all that. Oh yeah. Let me in. It's always second floor basement. Oh. Not to not to inspire overwhelming confidence or anything, but I know we're in the right place literally because I lost so often in this area that I recognize <laughs> the map. I do need to play Hollow Knight, you're right. 
Uh, Hollow Knight is fantastic. Woo. I've just been like, I've been in this like, kind of like, there's so much going on and I'm so by the world that I've just been playing Dishonored again and again and mm -hmm. like reading trashy like novels from Amazon Kindle and that's like all I have the for. No, I, I get that. I mean, like, I, there are, I have lots of, like, games on my list that I want to have played and that I'm in the middle of, but, like, it's games like watch out like Hades and Risk of Rain 2 that's just All show up, do a million fly. runs while you listen First to a conspiracy theory podcast. Uh, yeah, to yeah. Move on with your life. That's sort of where my comfort zone has been. Yeah, I listen to a lot of, like... Who are you? Just call <sighs> yeah, I barely even have the audio throat right now. Like, oh, I just want to hear a little... Never mind about that. Just call me. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Uh, I'm glad Deep Throat's my fan. Okay. That's Snake. I mean, that's Fox, isn't it? That's Great Fox. Yep. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay. And it starts going faster just by itself. And the camera mm -hmm. angle doesn't let you see where you're going. Okay. Oh yeah. I remember. Oh, God. Yeah, I remember in my live tweet, I was like, this ninja, is he Snake's ex? And everyone's like, yes and no. Oh, no, I didn't want to shoot that one. Northwest corner. Perfect. Oh, keep moving, bud. All right. Why nope. is this? Oh, I was like, why is this man? Oh, firing at the. Thought that was going to be far enough away. That one was uh, not in. That one was an accident, but it was. Uh, it was still my fault. <laughs> okay. I. Well, you're doing better than I would do. So. <laughs> the thing that I keep on saying on these streams, which is. Which is true, is that, like, I used to be good at video games, and I never updated that conception of myself, and it's just become so clear to me how much that era of my life has passed. I mean, it's also a lot easier to play video games with watching you do it. There we go. That's the thing. Done. All right. Perfect. Yeah. Give me some air. I think there's a gas mask in here somewhere. Yeah, Hollow Knight is a beautiful game. I need to play it. There's there's so much hidden stuff in that game that I've I've beaten the main thing, but like Hollow the, Knight. Yeah, but then I, I look up like I see like wiki entries on it and things, and they're all about bosses that I've never seen before. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of lore. Yeah, really cool. Hollow Knight lore. Yeah, I mean, I'm still, like, my friends and I, twice a week, we get together and we play uh, Pathologic. We're playing the first game now, because the second game is, like, much better. <laughs> the first one is, like, ooh. Mm -hmm. Still good, but very broken. Oh, yeah. No, I... You no, know, weirdly, I think I own the first one, and... I think I own not even the remake of the first one. I think I might own the first one, first one. Oh, oh wow! That was that's the one with like the almost like indecipherable translation. Yes, it is. The one with G go onion. Yeah, yeah. I read. I it's because I I I wanted to play it starting. I read an article on like rock paper shotgun probably like mm -hmm. ten years ago at this point. Yeah, there's a. Uh just like a void like i think there's a, a word like a made-up word in a language that one of the characters calls the other character oinon but uh -huh. i guess in the script they flipped it and it said onion <laughs> so there's a very famous <laughs> like, line read that's go onion i need to collect the tool that's really good i hmm, okay is there any way to shoot in first person in this game? I don't think there is. Don't think so. It really is hard to go back home. 
There we go. Okay. Perfect. Security camera guns. <laughs> I know. Security camera guns that for some reason are wired into the full security system that everything else is. Oh, no, oh, my gas mask. Okay. We're good now. No, we're not. There's no time. There's no time. <laughs> There's just no time. Have I said yet that this is tactical espionage action by way of Mr. Bean, or did I just think that really hard? Yeah, you said it. Okay, yeah, because that's what I'm that's what I'm feeling. Okay. Yeah, and um when I play MGS5, it's like big boss, the greatest soldier who ever lived, and then I just like eat it immediately and fall down a cliff. <laughs> Yeah. That's the old song. I can get in here. I don't know why I didn't try that. Okay. I think that we are almost at the spot that we were hoping to get to, if I recall. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're here. That ninja. <laughs> Oh yeah, press F for these guys. <laughs> for every last one of them. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. That's usually how you get cut, bud. <laughs> looks like they were cut by some kind of blade. <laughs> <laughs> This is, it's a ghost. It's, it's a ghost. It's it's so silly, but like this moment with the sound design and everything is still legitimately really effective for me. Oh yeah. To be fair, it is a ghost, clearly. Yeah. Espionage, ta fucking hollow shit. What of the fuck? Oh, this is a great time for me to discover that I don't have any rations, so we're gonna see how this goes. Iconic scene. Oh, there he is. There's your boy. There he is. Stealth camouflage. Who are you? There is first, there. first act, piss himself. <laughs> what, are you about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? <laughs> Neither an enemy nor a friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese enemies. Yes. I've come to yes. another world to do battle with you. Yes! What is it, revenge? <laughs> it is really so trivial. Just like my Only Japanese animes! Yeah, I know. <laughs> I will kill you. I, that Only line is so good that I am always a little worried I imagine it. Makes no yeah. I mean, his name is Otacon because of Otaku Vengeance. <sighs> right, exactly. <laughs> he can watch from inside there. I need that man. No, Uber. No. It's real. It's... 
<laughs> welcome to Metal Gear Solid. Now, maybe. Also, yeah, uh, this welcome to uh, Snake's love interest. Like, literally, this is the man he raises a child with. Gray Fox's lines in this bit are are unbelievable. There, the sound effects. There he goes. <laughs> That's good, Snake. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a limit. Nope, he's in the wrong way. Oh, but you know, that was just that was just a read because he apparently flipped straight over me and it's my pick. Alright, you can't shoot him, can you? No, if you do he takes out his sword and you're done. There's a line that he says in a little bit that I've been waiting literally since you and I decided we were going to do this stream to hear. So, yeah, to hear, uh, <laughs> it's just like my Japanese animes. Yeah, um, actually, Otacon was like, at this point, I was starting to be like, oh, this game is going to be a little different than I thought it would be because, <laughs> um, Otacon is like a serious character in this game and continues to be a main character game and it's really weird because he does something that mostly is something that happens in stories where the writer wants to signal that the person is worthless which is pisses himself in fear right but like the like the um like fear and torture and pain in metal gear is uh portrayed in a way that is really different from a lot of action things um, the characters get tortured in almost, er, like, Snake gets tortured in almost every single game, and it's always, like, it's never like, oh, look how tough he is. It's always to, like, make you empathize with him. Yeah, no, I, I, I absolutely love that. It's always, it's always really brutal and undignified, and... In the case of the Snake Eater torture scene, one of the horniest things... <laughs> I haven't actually seen that version of it. That's good snake. Alright. Hurry up and catch me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got weird box. I still don't think he said the line that I'm waiting for. But I know he does. Snake. <laughs> Are you looking for more? Hurt me more. Yes, I am. I've been waiting. Hurry but, up and catch me. Uh, if he, because I think that's a random line he says when you punch him, and if he skips it this time, it's gonna be everybody is looking horny for Snake. <laughs> We used to kick the shit out of each other. Oh my god. Oops. I've been waiting for this pain is really good too. <laughs> oh, I forgot this phase of the fight. This is this is so cool. <laughs> this whole game is so stupid and cool. I mean, the bet like the most important li other very important line is Oh, you almost did it. Yep. The other really important line is, do you think that love can bloom even on the battlefield? <laughs> God, I already, I already told you this story, but for the people that are watching the stream, I still think it's worth uh, telling now that you've met Otacon a little bit. Uh, I have a friend who's an actor on the show, but I probably shouldn't name, uh, just in case, who has worked with Otacon's voice actor before. Um, and she said that she, like, and that he was, like, a very suave, very attractive human being. Uh, and then I showed her, like, clips of Otacon peeing himself, and this is just like one of my Japanese animes, and she got really mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> His voice actor is very good. Oh, he is! He, I mean, he does every, a great job. Yeah, absolutely. 
And it's, it, it was really just telling her that, like, when she told me that he was a very suave human being, like, my first reaction was, I just heard, can love truly bloom on the battlefield in my head? And I needed her to experience that same dissonance with me. Yeah. I believe people can fall in love wherever they are. <laughs> <laughs> the most romantic exchange of... Oh. Didn't do so many bicycle kicks last time. Have you... Oh no, you haven't played Peace Walker, so you haven't heard this... Uh, the... The what? There's a an audio like they're on like a drama CD that uh, they did for Peace Walker. Cause and Big Boss do like a sauna scene where they like fight naked. They like wrestle naked. Um. Yeah, really. And there was never there was never a official English translation, but the voice actors got got together together and did it <laughs> for oh, like the internet my god like david hater and uh robert adkin downs did it that's fantastic yeah i think they did it for charity now make me feel it make oh me my god. feel alive again and i the first round i made it i made it look like i knew what i was doing and so i'm, I'm sorry to have deceived you all <laughs> Yeah. Good. Now we can Fox's voice is not the same in, I think, Twin Snakes, which is a pity because I love his voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they spoke the lines where they wrestled naked in. <laughs> I don't know if they wrestled naked in the sauna. They might have. Oh, the voice actors. David Hayter and Robbie Nothing Downs, they might have. I don't know. I don't know their lives. <laughs> Oh, David Hayter seems very invested in being Solid Snake in, in all capacities. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't think that he'd be above him. Yeah, no. In in that sauna scene, like Big Boss literally says, "Cause it's the women or me." Wow. Yeah. All right. I okay. I know what I did differently. The first time I was in more fear, and that appears to have served me a good <laughs> You gotta keep that fear, you gotta hang on to that fear, it'll keep you alive. Right. Oh, the backflips. You ever heard of Konami Crazy Racers? It's a Game Boy Advance game. No. It's a Mario Kart clone by Konami, and the characters that are playable in it are insane. Because, like, because Gray Fox is one of them, but nobody else from the Metal Gear series. That's so weird. Yep, Dracula is one of them, but it's not a Dracula design that's ever been in a Castlevania game. What the fuck? <laughs> yep, the, the Vic what? Viper from Gradius is one, but it's, like, not the pilot of the Vic Viper. It's just the, it's just the spaceship. Oh my god. What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. I have to admit that I do have that entire exchange memorized. <laughs> Castlevania's fun. Uh-huh. Do your big flippies. No, not those flippies. Okay. Deliver the lines. Right now, <laughs> I'm focusing on uh, beating up Great Fox, but I I'm might gotta, be I'm trying to fight minute. this ninja. Knocks the fucking office chairs. I know. That's good, Snake. Hurry up and catch me. God, it's good that they can still have fun after all these years. I know, I know. You gotta, you gotta keep that, you gotta keep that I spark can't. somehow. <laughs> they just keep it fresh. Yeah. Oh, all right. I 
like how he just kind of flips over the fucking. I know. In the, those flips are like the only consistent time I can hit him. Okay. This is the save we lost on the floor. We're gonna see if we do. Okay, I think I need to bait him into a punch. No, that that worked. Yes. <laughs> you just fucking. Yes. He just wants you to hurt him more. It's like, honey, you could just stand there and I can beat you. Right. Like it's fine. He's, you don't have to fight me. He's so into it. <laughs> he remembers that punch. He's dreamed for so long about this punch. Oh my god. This is even gayer than I remember. I always freaking get about Gray Fox because I'm so like focused on it. We're here for you. That's good snake. You should check out Chip Cheesem's Let's Plays if you want to see me. Like, you should watch. You should watch the Let's Plays. They're good. Or you should play the games. Mm -hmm. There are a lot. Especially because, like, for real, if you watch a Let's Play, you get to see the game played out as though it's actually a super spy. And yeah, yeah, Chip is really good at this game. Him and his uh, the guy he streams with, Ironicus. They're, it's fun, especially like later, because like, cause they're they were like something awful streamers from like a long time ago. So like, some of the old ones are racist, and they'll like say some uh -huh. the, some shit. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh man, you were so close. I forgot. Did that you kill each other? He, I forgot. Once you beat him, he blows himself up. <laughs> that's what's killed. That's what killed me. All right. The order I can give you, like the order is one, two, three, four. Peace Walker 5. That's that's the order you have to play them in. 1, 2, 3, 4, Peace Walker 5? Yeah. Like, Peace Walker is not one of the main games, but 5, like, you need to play Peace Walker to play 5, basically. Like, it has way less impact if you don't. You're absolutely right. There were huge chunks of 5 that, as much as I liked it, there were huge chunks of it that I had no sense of what was going on. Right, yeah, you don't care about cause at all. Like... I think I got it this time. I think I figured it out. And now we get to hurt him more and more. Hurt me more. There's an eight. There's HD re-releases. Um, the first three games on PS3. Um, the fourth one is on PS3. Peace Walker is on PSP and PS3, and uh, MDS Five is on. PS4. But I think they're all on PC. Maybe? I don't know. I think a bunch of them just got ported to PC on GOG.com. Maybe? He just flies so far with that kick. How does the man kick further faster than I run? MGS games on good old games. Nice. I think that like, yeah, the like there's a couple of them that you don't really need to play because they're a little clunky. Like this is a pretty clunky game. Oh my um, god, yes. <laughs> actually, Chip, Chip, um, Chip and Ironicus is um let's play of this game is really good because Chip um, splices in bits of uh, Twin Snakes, which is very funny because Twin Snakes is fucking absurd. Yeah. Oh. Alright. I, I 
need I need you to stop with the bicycle kicks, bud. Yeah, but the yeah, Peace Walker has um really cool like painted comic book style uh cutscenes. I, yeah, uh, I, I, so the, like the vibe is really different. I remember really liking those because I did. I played the beginning of it on PSP, but like I couldn't play any more of those on PSP because eventually my hand would just seize up. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's both like a PSP go, game, which is guys. one reason it didn't do very good. It's also extremely anti-American, which is probably mm. didn't do very good here. Uh, I saw him, and then I made the mistake of running away. Okay. Ah, <sighs> uh, it got behind me. It hurt so much. Okay, I want to give this. I want to give this another go. I think I need to wrap up on the soon side. Yeah. But, but Otacon has a good long bit in a minute that I uh, that I want to give him give him a chance to speak. Hmm. It's good every time. <laughs> no, yeah, we've been going for a while. Shit. Yeah, we've been going for like two and a half hours. Gaming. <laughs> My wife makes fun of me because I'll play games for like an hour. And I'm like, sorry, I have like a... <laughs> sorry, you dropped out at the very end there. Oh, I have a bad attention span. <laughs> but... It's really up in the air for me. Like, some games I will sit down in six hours, disappear. Yeah. The only thing I can really do for, like, like a really long time without stopping is read, usually. Mm. Um, but I, I do, like, I have a really, like, broken working style, too. Like, I'll do a, a little bit of work, something else, and then... So it's really hard for me have a chunk of time that I work in and then I do other stuff in. I just have like, I just bounce around. Gotcha. That's, that's funny. I'm so completely the opposite. I like, I need, I need to have designated like, this is work time. This is not. Yeah, I've tried to do that. It's just like, not on my brain. I was, I've always found it really interesting hearing about other people's like, oh, like the, uh, the things that can't that are non-negotiable in other people's work styles and like creative styles, you know. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. And I, I like got into now that I've like been writing for. I guess like depends what I, I'm writing for. Cause I write not. I like write prose and audio drama and video games and comics. So right. I have like different stuff on. Um. Do you write prose? Uh, I do. Um, I have a couple of novel projects under my belt that will never see the light of day. Classic, uh, same. Yeah, no, I mean that's <laughs> that, that's the that's the gig, ain't it? Um, and also a secret project that I can tell you more about later. Oh, cool. Yeah, I have a like bunch of short. I have a novel that I'm trying to. I have a bunch of short stories that I've published, but uh. Yeah, getting an agent's a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Just navigating that entire space is, like, it is ex so extremely stressful and time-consuming for yeah. consistently potentially no payoff, and it's very demoralizing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's weird, it's because it's like, well, with games now, because I work at a game company, I can now be like, oh, let's make that, and then I can just, like, do it. But then, like, then you have to break into a, like, aspect of the writing community. Right. Oh, he's there. 
I'm here, Snake. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Well, he, he, he didn't lie. He was there. He was. And... Do your flips. Thanks, bud. I'm gonna let him come to me. That seems to work better. Oh, come on. I already used the ration, too. Oof. If I had three rations like I was supposed to, this would probably be a lot easier. <laughs> This stage is pretty easy. I just gotta not blow it. Explosion at the end, thank you very much. Teleports. Okay, all right. Now we now we go. <laughs> We're gonna look safely from over here. I don't like that he jumps. I don't know where he went. Uh. You have to get him one more time. I think so. When he's not exploding. This. <laughs> All right, this is very Sweetie, intense. Sweetie, uh, can I help you? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, all right. Did it work? Oh, don't make me do it again, bud. every time are you kidding me okay all right <laughs> Ooh. do you remember me now can you be you were killed in Zanzibar Muppet freak out. What's happening? King love this game. It's so <laughs> stupid. I see myself. Is it over? Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh. Um, bye. I know. I think it's very telling that both of us, like, always get immediately quiet during the cutscenes with Gray, Gray Fox, Fox and Ocelot. Colonel, or not Ocelot, but Otacon. It's Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. He's you just like, bye. Die in Zanzibar. <laughs> no. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. 
He started the gene therapy project. Oh yeah, Where that is he bitch. <laughs> he was killed in an explosion in his lab. Oh, they call him he so in this. this soldier? I guess they make her her and later. Oh. Clark is a paramedic, I think. Oh, whoa. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. Right, necromancy is canon in the Metal Gear universe. We used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Uh, I'd rather not. But maybe that's what yeah, he wants. Yeah, Frank Jaeger. Mm-hmm. How long are you gonna stay in there? <laughs> you okay in there? <laughs> can I? No, can not. I get you anything? I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> Come on, get out. We can't, can't stay, stay here forever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I need I really needed us. God, this fucking like right. <laughs> You know me? I heard about you from Meryl. Oh, so you're here to I can't believe they get married. <laughs> no, no. There's something that I've gotta do first. I needed us to well, hit the first like them. real long chunk of Otacon talking because huh. Are you hurt? Oh my god. He's such he's incredible. a he's such a gem. I just, I just twisted, twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? <laughs> the terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. I was testing you. No. They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's what? nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. Oh, there's a poster for the police not just back. I don't think I noticed that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex. So you really didn't know. You know, in retrospect, it is genuinely kind of a genius move to justify having a giant robot in your series by just making the developer of the giant robot a complete nerd. Yeah, he just wanted to build a Gundam. It's like literally why he did it. Right. A laser and a rail gun. Oh, we about to get some. Okay, never mind. Yeah. No, the B-roll of uh, missile tests was earlier. At extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system. Did we also get like a laser we dick? Successful in miniaturizing <laughs> in a joint I remember that. that. Sounds right. More national labs. The railgun is on Rex's right. You know, if he didn't, that might be the fiction that tells the greater truth. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on its back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data. <laughs> We're just vibing. <laughs> Nothing got so <laughs> casual. Just so like fast. standing there with his like legs crossed. 
Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. God, Otakon's voice is just like, I don't know, it, it, it's like good ASMR feelings. I mean, you're, everybody, the thing that I, I think one of the things that I really love about the voice acting in this series is that everyone's voice is just nice to listen to. It's perfect. <laughs> Damn. I'm such a fool. <laughs> it's all my fault. <laughs> the truth is, I love oh my god, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. Oh, yeah, his curse ass. <laughs> right. My father, and his dad is just a horrible August piece of shit. 1945. Yeah. The day of the Huey, Hiroshima the worst bomb. character. <laughs> God's got a sense of humor, all right. Is Huey the one in three? Um, no. Huey is in Peace Walker and Fox. Okay. Yes, yes. I think He's I the one in the, um, the wheelchair. Oh, right. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Oh my god, the constant cuts back and forth are killing me for some reason. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there, too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. <laughs> and the cuts are like so. Like funny. of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy. <laughs> if you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use him, but with this I'll be fine. He just had it the whole time. Good. I want Meryl to watch after me too. I just love him so much. I know. He's just such a piece of shit. Meryl, the engineer's okay. <laughs> That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. I think guys, part of the reason the cuts are so funny walking. is because she then the disc needs behind. to load, and since this really is a PS1 well, game, it takes a little bit. Way of walking, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then you have to go look at all the soldiers' ass. You'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? Even Otacon is like, you'll you'll know her when you see her butt. Just Where's look for the butt. Don't be so dense. Here, use, use this security, security card. card. It's security, security level, level four. four.
You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. <laughs> Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Get it, doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. Oh my god! Japan is the first country to successfully make I forgot he really says Japan animation! so much! They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. Yes! Yes! <laughs> I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like childish excuse. I wanted to make robots just like You're in the right. Japanese animes. You have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. The greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about that. Snake is like, okay, buddy. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. Morgana, why are you making weird I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. Oh boy. There he goes. There he goes. God, and iconic. Now there goes a real man. Yeah, there there goes a real one. <laughs> Maybe we should wrap up. I think, yeah. I'm gonna... You gotta call Mei Ling to wrap up, right? To her to save? Yeah, you gotta... Yeah, she'll save. All right. I'll save this in case we, uh, we decide to come back to it. Yeah. Well, it was it was fun, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, for real. Thank you. Uh, and th thank you, Aisha. I had, I had a ton of fun. We should definitely do this again. No, me too. We should, yeah, we should do it again. Yeah, maybe for, maybe repeatedly over the course of October. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we can figure out how to get that to work. Exactly. Cool. And... Saved. And I think we're good. Uh, Sweet. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Yeah. See you later, everybody. Thanks for hanging out.